the next step is to estimate a gauge type of model. The estimation of arch type models with gauge is very simple. To specify the model, first click on gauge here. Since we have a univariate time series, we just need to select the right menu, category, models for functional data, model class univariate gauge models using gauge. We can also estimate a multivariate gauge model, but for the moment we just have one single series, so we just select univariate gauge models. We need to formulate the model. To do so, click on Formulate, select the endogenous variable. We can also add explanatory variables in the mean and in the variance. Just by selecting the variables, but we don't have those variables in the data fi file, and we can change the status here mean for mean, and variance for the conditional variance. So there are three possible statistics for each variable, y for the dependent variable, and then x for the mean, so regressors in the conditional mean or regressors in the conditional variance for variance. In the univariate module, only one y variable per model is accepted. However, one can include several regressors in the conditional mean and in the conditional variance equations, and the same variables can be a regressor in both equations. Once the OK button is pressed, the model setting box automatically appears. This box allows to select the specification of the model. We can choose a Narfima model for the conditional mean. We can select the number of lags for the AR, MA, and include a Narfima in the conditional mean. We can select the orders of the gauge P and Q, and we can also select the models. So different volatility models are available in the gauge module. Let's choose, for instance, the asymmetric exponential gas model. One of the new features of gauge uh, 7 is that three univite models of the gas class have been included. GAS means generalized autoregressive score, and this class of model has been proposed independently by Harvey and Quarters and Koopman and Quarters. Three of these models are available, GAS, exponential GAS, and asymmetric exponential GAS. Gauge models are based on the assumption that each return observation has the same relative impact on future volatility, regardless of the magnitude of the returns. This assumption is at odds with an increasing body of evidence indicating that the largest return observations have a relatively smaller effect on future volatility than smaller shocks. Unlike gauge models, the effect of an extreme observation is bounded in gas models. So let's choose this asymmetric exponential gas model with a skewed T distribution. We click on OK. We have different options about the starting values. Let's choose the default values. And then different estimation methods. We can also select the sample size. We consider the full sample. OK. We have to wait a few seconds because this model is extremely uh, complex. Here we are. So after less than three seconds, we have the output. From this output, we see that the asymmetry parameter of the skewed distribution is negative, highly significant. The distribution is definitely not conditionally Gaussian. The degree of freedom is 6.5. And all these parameters are significant here.